Hello everybody, my name is Lena and I'm actually alive. Yeah, I've been really, really sick for the past, I don't know, two and a half weeks. And I'm finally kind of myself again. But not really. <laughs> so I'm sorry if you kind of notice that my voice is not <laughs> like usual but yeah we have to work with this i'm sorry as i was saying i was really sick so i didn't manage to read my tbr from february so we're going to start this tbr with two books that i really want to read but i couldn't last month the first book that i actually would really like to read is Seven Blades in Black by Sam Sykes. It was completely impossible for me <laughs> to read this one because I was kind of able to listen to audiobooks but I was completely unable to read physically. It was a complete no. So this break was fairly impossible to read. As I've told you before, this is basically a revenge story set on a fantasy setting that's still the only thing that I know, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this. Finally, now I'm kind of able to read physically again, kind of, but I'm actually going really slow right now reading, but I'm still recovering, so. The other one that I would really like to read is This World of Kagan by ML1. Wong. I've actually started this one this month, but yeah. Was it what did it? this month but yeah I'm really enjoying this one right now and I was kind of confused at the beginning because I didn't know that this was kind of set in a modern setting I mean I thought it was kind of medieval but no there are kind of smartphones and TV <laughs> I was just like what the fuck is going on but yeah, I'm really really enjoying this so far. Even though that it's kind of set in modern times, it has tons and tons of magic. Just in this first 140 pages, all the time. There's magic all the time and it's fucking fantastic. We have this place called the Sword of Kagan where they kind of embrace this traditional kind of warrior's path. We have these families that basically have these amazing powers. We follow the Matsudas and they basically have the ability to create swords out of eyes. It's fucking fantastic. Then I'm going really kind of in the responsible way with this VR because I'm not quite able yet to read at my usual pace, but I also have two mandatory reads for this month and I hate that with all my heart but I have to do it. I have to read this one, A Philosophical Investigation by Philip Kerr. I've already started this and my god this has been awful <laughs> so far. It's basically set on the future and we have this Lombroso test that basically tells if men have this kind of violent gene that will kind of make them murderers and stuff like that and then we have a kind of murderer that is basically killing these men with this gene and that's it but uh, i hate when you have a male author writing woman's perspective and they don't fucking know I mean, the only trait of personality that this main character has is that she hates men, and that's it. Um, I've read 65 pages so far, and that's the only thing that I know about her, because she's telling me in every single page that she hates men, and I'm just like, okay, girl, why not? She's basically the chief inspector in the place where the book is set. She's just kind of like, oh, I don't mind if... He keeps killing men because I hate men, so whatever. And he's just like, what the fuck? You're the fucking police. Yeah, it's not being great. <laughs> I have to read this for my 
it's it called mediation in English but yeah it's part of my law classes it's so fucking boring the other book that I have to read is basically a Spanish book it's called Patria by Fernando Arab Arambul yeah and this is basically the aftermath of the terrorist group ETA and I haven't started it yet because I hate historical fiction and I hate more Spanish historical fiction and I have to read this for victimology which makes sense but man this is so thick I don't really feel like it at all but I have to life is awful then finally for the book that I want to read so you can see I've I have already started this one also. This is Altered Carbon by Richard Morgan. Get out of there, you pretty cat. What is it? What? I have actually watched the TV show two years ago when it first came out and I really, really enjoyed it. So I was really curious to read the book and so far it's basically exactly the same. So hooray for that adaptation. But yeah, although I have to say, if you want to read this book, you really need high tolerance to the word, to the word boobs and teats and sex in general, because oh, my goodness, the first chapters were painful to read. But yeah, apart from that, the rest is kind of really good. It kind of reminds me, in basically all men's war, you actually have these old people being kind of put in a new body and they have their hormones just all messed up and they are basically having sex constantly for a couple of chapters. This was the same, but for all the book, <laughs> I was just like, well... Come on, Takeshi, you can do it. But yeah, apart from that, I'm really enjoying this. In Altered Carbon, we basically have this futuristic world where you can't basically die. If you are killed, but your cell is not destroyed, you can basically be re sleep in another body and continue to live. So yeah, we have that. And then we follow Takeshi Kovach. He is basically this kind of super soldier <laughs> from another world and he's brought to earth to investigate the death of this super rich guy called Bancroft and yeah I don't want to tell you much because the actual mystery is really good so yeah it's good but you know too much boobs for me for this one I'm really excited I've been wanting to read this for little bit like a month already and yeah this is crown of feathers by Nikki Prow 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 by Nikki Prow Preto this is basically about Phoenix Riders something like that but yeah I've heard really really good things about this book and I'm really really curious about it I think that it's going to be one of my next reads I'm going to listen to it actually because the <laughs> Font in the paperback is so small that it hurts my disgusting eyes. I don't really know much, but every time that someone is talking about this, it's just like, oh, it's fantastic. It's just like YA, but made for adults. And I'm just like, well, okay, why not? And I think that there's actually a girl who dresses up as a boy so she can be Phoenix Rider don't exactly i'm not exactly 100 percent sure but i think it is then i'm also going to read a curse so dark and lonely by bridget kemmerer i don't know why but this is kind of a YA month <laughs> why not and i've been really curious about this book since last year because i'm not interested at all in the beauty and the beast retellings like at all but Every single booktuber that I follow read this and loved it. And I was just like, maybe I'm missing something. 
as I've just said, this is basically a Beauty and the Beast retelling, but our kind of beauty is basically kidnapped from our world and transported, transported to this super magical room <laughs> that is cursed with this thing where the prince is kind of a beast. I don't know, I just made that thing up completely. But yeah, I'm really curious and I hate and I love this edition. Oh my goodness. But yeah, I really hope I like it because the second book just came out in January, I think. And I also think that it's more of a companion novel, not a direct sequel. But yeah, I'm really curious about this one. The Stormlight. Archive. This is the second book, Words of Radiance, by Brendan Sanderson. I don't have part one here. I don't know where it is, actually. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because I'm going to listen to it as an audiobook. I find that for really thick fantasies, I enjoy, I enjoy listening to the audiobooks more than reading them physically. I do the same thing with Wheel of Time, and it's so much comfortable. I'm just reading it, especially because Robert Jordan has this way of writing where he basically tells you every detail, so I'm doing the same thing with Brandon Sanderson's books and I really, really enjoy the first one. I almost dropped my TBR at the beginning of the month just to continue reading this series and man, it was really good. How can I explain this <laughs> in just a couple of phrases? Oh my goodness. In this world, we kind of have these creatures from the void that basically attack humanity every now and then. And we had these warriors with their magical swords. But one day, they basically decide that it was enough. Because every time they basically die or win the battle, they are sent to hell, basically, to wait until the next kind of apocalyptic battle and they basically say that they had enough so they abandoned humanity leaving their magical swords behind and we follow a couple hundred years later the story of this world is fantastic <laughs> i loved it so yeah i'm really excited to keep going you don't know this yet but i reread the complete percy jackson series last month so i'm 100% on the mood to keep reading. This is actually the Spanish edition. This is The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. This is the first book in the Heroes of Olympus. Yeah. And this is basically a sequel to the Percy Jackson series. And I'm so excited. I have to say that I'm not as, as excited to read the first one because Percy's not in here. If you don't know that, I want to tell you that Percy doesn't appear in this book, but he does appear in the next ones. So this one I'm kind of meh, but I remember really enjoying it. So I don't really want to tell you much about this because it's kind of a direct sequel. But in this one, we kind of follow another trio of friends, Jason, Leo and Piper. And it's basically set on the, cell, on the same kind of Greek mythology, but we also have Roman mythology and we are also facing titans, but yeah. I love the Percy Jackson series. It's one of my favorite series of all time. I think that I like it actually more than Harry Potter, but yeah. I was saying that I was actually being kind of cautious with WTVR, but it's actually pretty long. <laughs> yeah. The last book that I'm going to read this month is actually my reread for this month, and it's La Puerta Oscura, by David Lozano. This is actually the first book, El Viajero. Viajero? <laughs> El Viajero. This cover is stunning. Let me show you the naked book because <laughs> it's the complete reverse and those end pages and the bookmark that is actually attached to the book. These editions are gorgeous. In this one, we basically follow Pascal and he discovers this gate to hell, basically. And that's all I remember about this series. But yeah, I remember really loving it, so I'm really excited 
but yeah i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to read the entire trilogy this month because you know i don't have the time really but we'll see i think that i'm going to read this one really soon to see if i actually want to continue with the series and kind of try and get the series done this month but yeah oh my god i can't stop looking at you so beautiful those are all the books that i plan to read this month it might not happen because as i told you before i'm not like a hundred percent ready to be myself again <laughs> but yeah and i'm also kind of really busy with college <sighs> i'm kind of tired just thinking about it but yeah that's going to be all for today i really hope you enjoyed it and i will see you in the next one or i hope so I hope that I'm not sick again. Please send help. <laughs>